William Hong. You probably have seen me somewhere, either from American Idol, internet, news, media, wherever source you might know me from. And I wish all of you the best of luck in whatever you choose to do with your life. Oh, ah. Hey guys, how's it going? We're having a wonderful week, like always. Well, I wasn't expecting to do this video today, but you know what? Earlier today, a few hours ago, I did upload my Ricky Martin Sound Loaded Album Review and First Listen video. And on that album, Ricky sings She Bangs, the iconic Ricky Martin song. And you know what? The second I started listening to that song, I was thinking of William Hung and American Idol. I mean, William Hung is one of the most memorable contestants ever from American Idol. So I was thinking back to when I first saw him on TV, and I was thinking, you know what? Where has he been since then? And he's actually put out three albums. He actually also put out a Christmas album. And I didn't even know he put out any albums until the other day when I looked it up. And you know what? His debut solo album, Inspiration, came out in 2004. So I got to thinking, you know what? I do album review and first listen and reaction videos on this channel. So why not listen to William Hung's album? Technically, it's an album. So I thought it would be a lot of fun to check out this album for the first time. I haven't heard it before. Um, and there are 15 tracks on the album. I believe most of these tracks are covers, such as She Bangs, Balabos, and I Believe I Can Fly, Hotel California, Can You Feel the Love, and also Two Worlds. He also sings Rocket Bad and Free, Circle of Life, and YMCA and Shake Your Bong Bong, which is also another Ricky Martin song. Now we did kick off this video with track number one, Words of Gratitude, and it was a nice opener. It's not what you would typically expect from an album. He's essentially giving us his gratitude for buying the album and for essentially making him a star off of American Idol. Um, and I mean, he, this just goes to show you, you can achieve anything, honestly, like William Hug got a recording contract, and he was able to put out an album, and let's be real, he can't sing a single tune. Um, he's a horrible singer, I'm gonna be honest with you, but that's not the point of this album. It's inspirational, and honestly, you can tell he's just having fun with the songs. I mean, I haven't listened to the songs yet, I've only listened to one, She Bangs, but you can tell that he's just being himself. It's fun, and it's stupid, and it's a horrible cover. He's honestly a horrible singer, but that's not the point. It's just fun to listen to. It's goofy. I am very curious to check out his renditions of some of the other songs on the track list. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So now we're gonna move on to track number three, Balabos. Ooh. Bring it, William. Yeah, baby. Now we all know that Balamos is an Enrique Iglesias song, and it's a beautiful song, it's a great song. Um, I don't know, William might be giving Enrique a run for his money, I won't lie. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on to track number four, Inspirational Thoughts, Passion, and then that will progress into track number five, I Believe I Can Fly. Now, this is a cover of the R. Kelly song, and typically I don't listen to R. Kelly on this channel. 
Um, I mean, we all know why, given what's happened with R. Kelly. So, usually when he's featured on a song, on an album, I just skip over him. Even if the song is a cover of an R. Kelly song, I still typically skip over it. But I'm going to make an exception for this video. I may not be the best singer in the world, but I sing from my heart. And I sing with passion. I just enjoy singing. Well said. <laughs> That's what I sound like when I'm sick. I believe I can touch the sky. I think it by every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. Oh, I believe I can fly. If I just spread my wings. I really do feel bad for laughing, but at the same time, I don't, because it's impossible to take this seriously, so, um, uh, I mean, Mariah Carey who? I mean, uh, just like Enrique, I mean, that William is giving Mariah a run for her money. You know what? People are gonna make fun of him, people are gonna laugh at him and his music and the way he sings, but you know what? He's the one who's laughing all the way to the bank. Um, he's making money off of just being himself. Even though his talents aren't very good, his talent is being an inspiration to everyone out there. So now we're gonna move on to track number six, Hotel California. God help me. Okay. I'm actually kind of getting a headache, I won't lie. I honestly couldn't even finish the song. I, I'm genuinely getting a headache and I'm very uncomfortable right now. I mean, this is torture. This, this is genuine torture. I've never been tortured like this doing one of these videos. And honestly, it's self-inflicted torture because I chose to do this video. This could be heaven or this could be hell. I mean, this is much deeper than hell. This is like the deepest circle of hell right here. I mean... Even the devil himself doesn't want anything to do with this circle of hell right here. I mean, this is this is deeper than the depths of hell. I mean, this is, like, far below hell. I mean, we all know William is a horrible singer. That's a given, obviously. But at least with tracks number two and three and five, She Bangs and Balamos and I Believe I Can Fly, at least those songs were tolerable to an extent. This one, Hotel California, just, it's in a league of its own. And it's just downright god-awful. Nails on a chalkboard. I mean, it's it's unbearable to listen to. You can't even have fun listening to the track. Like I said, with tracks number two and three and five, they were tolerable, they were fun to listen to, but this one, this one isn't even fun to listen to. It's just, it's just horrible. So we are gonna move on to track number seven, Can You Feel the Love?
Well, I feel dead inside. Now, I will say, I was getting a little teary-eyed as I was listening to that song. Not because William was singing it. Maybe I was getting teary-eyed because I was just in extreme pain, which is probably a good reason. Um, honestly, I am in pain right now. But the actual reason why I was kind of tearing up as I was listening to this track is because the original version, the Elton John version, is very close to my heart, and there's lots of memories associated with it, so... Whenever I do listen to the song, I do get a little emotional, and I was also getting emotional because he just ruined the song, William Hug, and it's like he just crapped all over my childhood. It's like he crapped all over such a great song, and it's almost insulting that he was allowed to cover this song. Not just this song, but also Hotel California, and I Believe I Can Fly, and all the other songs. Maybe not so much She Bangs and the more frivolous songs, but this one in particular, I find it hard to believe that they were able to get the rights to this song. I don't know how it works when it comes to covering songs. I don't know how much money you have to pay to get the rights to cover a song. I don't know the whole process behind that, but I'm really surprised he was able to cover this song. I just feel like at this point I'm not having fun anymore, and it's almost insulting. But I do want to continue with the rest of the album, so let's move on to track number 8, Two Worlds. This is like the soundtrack to how I feel right now. Oh god. I am in no way finishing this track. Um, I I have to stop the pain. I mean, forget Chinese water torture. This is a whole other torture on its own. Now, obviously, this is a song from the Disney film Tarzan, which was originally performed by Phil Collins, which I love. I love the Tarzan soundtrack. Once again, William Hung has tainted this song for me, and I just want to move on from it. So let's move on to track number 9, Inspirational Thoughts, Perseverance, and also track number 10, Rocket Man. Oh dear god. Even with a lot of talent in singing, even with a lot of talent in whatever you choose to do, you still have to put in this hard work, and you, you need that determination. True, but whatever. She packed my bags last night, we fly. I would rather listen to dogs barking the entire night than listen to this man's voice. Bye. Nope, nope. So now we're gonna move on to track number 11, Free. Let's get into it. I actually don't think I've ever heard this song before, so I don't know if it's an original song or if it's a cover. Um, it's actually an original song written by Hung and someone else. Um, I honestly don't care. I don't care about this song. I couldn't care less. I'm not listening to it. I stopped it, like, not even halfway through. There are three Elton John covers on this album, so now we're gonna get into the third Elton John cover, which is Circle of Life. I 
it doesn't matter if it's children, adults, uh, maybe even seniors. All these people just like me, and they like me for my real self. I wish more people in the entertainment industry can be who they are. It makes life happier for everyone in the world. Young man, there's no need to feel dumb. I said, young man, there's no need to be unhappy. Young man, it's hard to say at the YMCA. It's hard to say at the YMCA. YMCA. You can do whatever you feel. I'm a desperado. I'm not having fun anymore. This isn't cute anymore. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't anymore. So we've come to the end of the album. Thank fucking God. I, I have a headache and I'm pissed off and I'm a little angry. I'm not happy. It's not even cute and fun anymore at this point. It was in the beginning, but it's it's not cute and fun anymore. I didn't mind that he covered songs like YMCA and Shake Your Bon Bon and uh, She Bangs. Those were fun songs to cover. I wish he would have covered more songs like that on his album. But instead, he covered some of the greatest songs of all time, like Hotel California, Can You Feel the Love Tonight. He covered some of the greatest singers of all time, like Elton John. And it was almost insulting. It wasn't even fun to listen to. It wasn't even cute. It wasn't even a joke. It was just crap. At least with tracks She Bangs and even track number 11 Free, which was the original song, and YMCA, at least those were fun to listen to. And you could kind of goof off as you listen to them, but the rest was just unacceptable. Let's see what people thought of this album. And I'm looking at the reviews and... All of them are negative. Negative, 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 negative. One out of four, one out of five, half a star out of ten. If I had to, I would maybe give this album half a star out of ten just for how inspirational William Hug is and the fact that he was able to accomplish this and getting a recording contract and putting out an album, not just one album, but two albums, three albums, he put out three albums. Um, and he is inspirational, I guess, but he's not someone you want to inspire to be. He doesn't have talent. I mean, maybe he does have talent in other aspects of his life, but when it comes to music, even being an entertainer, he's not even entertaining. He's entertaining for a couple minutes, for a couple seconds, but then it's just cringe and it's god-awful. There's a difference between being goofy and funny and a little bit cringe when it comes to being an entertainer but then there's just being fun and cute for a couple seconds and then it just kind of drags on and on and gets to the point where it's just obnoxious and annoying and stupid. I also felt like the album was way too long. There were way too many tracks and it just dragged on and on and on so I don't know why there are so many tracks on here. It's ridiculous. There should have been more of a I guess an EP instead. Now obviously the worst songs on the album are tracks number 6, Hotel California, and track number 7, Can You Feel the Love Tonight, track number 8, Two Worlds, and track number 10, Rocket Man, Circle of Life, but the worst of the worst is definitely in the middle of the album, those chunk of songs. I did think that the inspirational thoughts, which are kind of like interludes, I thought they were cute, but um, they were whatever. I, I don't really have an opinion on them. So obviously this album is god-awful. It's probably... It's definitely the worst album I've ever listened to in my entire life. I would like to maybe give this album props for perhaps being fun and goofy. Um, but honestly, it's not even fun and goofy. It is initially when you first start listening to it, like She Bangs. But then it just gets old and repetitive and stupid and... There's nothing fun and entertaining about this album. It's just god-awful. I want to throw this album into the deepest, darkest pit of hell. However, I will say I do want to eventually check out his other two albums because he did put out two other albums. One which is a Christmas album. So maybe I'll listen to his Christmas album this coming holiday season. 
Who knows? But this was very painful to listen to. It was torture. It was self-inflicted torture. And I never, ever want to experience this album ever again. So I cannot recommend this album at all. I can't even recommend it if you want to have a couple chuckles here and there. Um, just don't check it out at all. It's absolutely dreadful. And you will end up with a major headache and... It's, it's nails on a chalkboard. Like I said already, it's nails on a chalkboard. There's nothing redeeming about this album, with the exception of perhaps the inspirational thoughts were, which are inspirational, I won't lie. So I just want to move on with my life and my day and my week. And I never want to see or hear this album ever again in my entire life. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. And I'm going to go take an Advil because my head desperately needs it. Bye.